Hello one and all and welcome to Duel of the Day for the uh, 5th of November uh, and today I'm running Go 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 Zombies against Archfiends. It was a uh, game I really enjoyed playing and uh, I'm hoping to get these to be a real competitive deck. I'm still in the works of changing it around and stuff and once the deck profile is ready I will be uploading it for those interested. So uh, let's get on with it uh, without further ado. Let's go. So straight off the bat, I've got quite an interesting hand. It's not the best hand. However, I have got two calls, and there's going to be a lot of combos to work out later on. For those of you who don't know how the deck works, uh, it will soon uh, be showing it off. Uh, because uh, they are a deck that aren't used a lot. It's because they're sort of a minor archetype. And because there was a new Go-Go-Go, Go-Go-Go-Gorum, I believe his name is, I thought I might as well try and incorporate him and see how effective he is. I haven't managed to play a game with him yet, in terms of drawing him, but I'm hoping, you know, I can get a nice video up of that at uh, uh, a later point, for those uh, who want to see if he's worth uh, playing. So straight here, I've uh, gone for a Laval Vol Chain. Uh, so I can get the uh, combo started. It requires a Go-Go-Go Ghost and a Go-Go-Go uh, golem, even in the grave at least, so it'd be a f so I can start doing it. And I, I'm going to show off it here because uh, even though I'm MST, I might as well uh, show off his effect because it's going to let me have a free monster. So basically, when he's special summoned, I can special summon a go 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 from my grave. Obviously, the uh, target being golem, making for a really interesting uh, combo in terms of quick uh, fours. I put star drawing in here as a way of keeping uh, some draw power going within the deck because uh, it's, it can tend to suffer from a lack of draw power even though it doesn't need it too much because it's got these nice graveyard effects like Mizuki's going to be able to pull off the effect of Go Go Ghost, Ghost as well so there's another way you can pull it off it's why I think uh, with zombies it works really effectively obviously I've got book and a call so I can do it again at least twice depending on uh, how it goes here you know obviously it's going to mean I've, I've got quite a substantial lead in terms of life points here and it's going to be hard for him to try and uh, bring it back because I've got both a black chip of corn and a uh, maestro and uh, a dimensional prison's going to seal the deal. So that was kind of an overpowered game in terms of just, uh, there's Gorum, but obviously I don't need to play him, I've got the game there, he's realised, he's conceded. Uh, and that is it. So let's just go over him before I end the video, because I might as well. So it's when it's someone changes its battle position. When this field card on the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, send one go 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 monster from your deck to the graveyard. It's nice in terms of another way of getting that ghost or golem to the grave if you're uh, lacking one of the two. Even though go 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 gorom's going to be able to play as another version of golem in terms of being able to special summon him, I do believe. So uh, other than that, thanks for watching everyone, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for a deck profile if you want to. I would uh, encourage subscribing if you want to see just interesting deck profiles on a day-to-day -day basis, basis, as well as just really uh, in-depth and explanatory uh, descriptions of how decks work and such. Uh, thanks for watching everyone, and goodbye.